Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Roddy Out of Stories in the last episode. Um, we went to the cemetery and got a new outfit. It isn't worth anything to me. In this episode, as you can see, I found Gerald. And it's gonna happen. Hey so there. you made Sergeant. Don't let it go to your head, okay? Look, like this, right? What are you doing? You screw up just once, and you'll be busted right back down a private. Hey, uh, Jack. Sorry about causing you trouble before. Eh, don't sweat it. <clears throat> Listen. If I any fool can ever manage to beat me in the fight, <laughs> I'll join up with you. All right. Who knows? If you try a thousand times, you might get lucky once. Okay, real man don't talk. They yak, right? Stop that bad one and come and get it. Oh, 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 um. And this is how you recruit Gerald. Since I did that little thing beforehand with he and, um, you know, what's his name? Enemy does, I should be just fine. Hopefully I survive. This guy is fast. I mean, really fast. I'm out to my endurance up, that's what she right said, because he told me to come and get it. So, All right. and I'm also, I hope I can curse him. So, if I can curse him, I should be safe. If I have the thing to curse him, the mass entity. Did it work? No. Uh, I think, no. Magma powder. This guy is like no joke. And it's a good thing that I'm using uh um, my watch comic because if I didn't I'd be in deep trouble. Strengthen your guard! Alright. Alright! Also I need some I need like really Oh, this guy's not joking around. I can't even get a hit on him. Man. That means I need to switch up. And, um, actually, first, I want to see how much his health is, because he is, like, kicking my tail. Wow. Alright! No, you're not the best fighter around, Jack. Safe get a brand out. Just look at the house on reach. Two. No way! No, 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 Come on, Jack. Strengthen your guard. I can't. That is just terrible. I suck. I literally suck if I die. Run, Jack. Run for your life. Run for your sodding life for once. Don't get caught. This is exactly the why. It is so hard to fight this guy. I'm about to like lose. I might use my, my sushi no go dump when just to survive. I don't know. I'm scared, guys. Strengthen your guard. All right. What? He turned it off. I might have a chance, guys. Yeah, I'm about to buy a switch you knuckle that point. You know, I didn't want to, but. Same thing you do with guys. I didn't want to use those, but. It's a special occasion. Yeah! 68. Alright, 
Alright, let's see how much he has left. I want to get this guy so bad right now. I really do. Man. Didn't want to use that thing. I need help. Oh well. Rune Saber. And then I'll use another one. Exactly why the chief decided to make you a squad sergeant. <laughs> All right then, real men don't talk; they act. Guess I'll go with you. But you make sure there's lots of action. You hear? Gerald is now my friend, and he says, "Like, hey, what? Nothing's happening. When are we going to get into some action?" Ah, <sighs> feels good to have one of the best people in the game on your team. And yes, you will not be going home tonight, buddy. You're going right to my team. And sorry, but Gerald has to go. I mean, not Gerald, but Gareth has to go. And man, it felt so good to have him. It's too bad he's on my switch knuckle dump points. Oh well, what can you do? So goodbye, Gareth. And hello. Whoa! He's at level 44. My team is going to be stronger than ever. Um. So I could get rid of. Tony, because Gerald is in every aspect better than him, and I will. So goodbye, Tony, and hello, Gerald. So now I have the team of Gerald, Gerald, Gareth, Gerald, and Clive, and this is gonna be so fun and so much easier. Now all I have to do now is just fight um, what's his name um, Nocturne. Yeah, Nocturne, and I'll get him if I can defeat him. And I think I figured out where to get Pooch from. You know, the cat. Because I looked it up and it said she's, well, he, or how you. I don't think it says if it's a she or a he, but, you know, it says you will find him at, like, in a black trash or something in some city, I mean, some region. I don't know, but. Whatevs. And I have to do every I'm trying to get everything done before the birthday party. What is the birthday party going to happen soon? And I'm going to be invited. I'm a special boy. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, I'm a special boy. Um, it's almost midnight too, so I might be able to catch up to him. And I might lose, but you know. Oh well. At least I leveled up. Oh, I'm going again. I love seeing Morgan. Morgan is so feisty and hot. Rawr. Even that turquoise is a green, whatever, whatever shade of green it is. The black town of night lust. Um, zip, I'll do this quick run to this area. Hi, what? Lily. She doesn't look so kawaii. Every time I see her, I just think of the kawaii-ness. Any hoozles. If I could see Nocturne, I'm gonna have a quick talk with him. And I don't think it's a requirement to have Gerald in your party. 
my nose requirement to you know do that little thing I did and I'm stuck what the I cannot stand is like I get stuck behind you know the NPCs which sucks and I gotta wait for them to walk down the stairs they move extra extra slow come on here we go so maybe I can catch up to him here but I don't think he has a uh, Volte Blast though if he does then I am S-O-L and he's not here so next time I see him I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to win him which is creepy but anyway I'm going to get right back to the other back court and hopefully there will be time for me to get a mission so I'll see you guys when I get there Hey guys, I am back, and I know I said that I was going to go back to Theater Van Core, but change the plans. Guess who I found? <coughs> what? Is it for me? Hi. What? Who are you? Oh, Mr. Punk for Van Core. Stop calling me Punk. Yeah, whatever. I'm in a good mood today. I don't feel like beating up on some kid. Oh, yeah. Give me your friend, Gerald, a message for me. Tell him I'll fight him anytime, as soon as he's healed up, that is. I did. Hi. Hey, Gerald. What's the story? You babysitting this punk? Punk, listen, Gramps. You best know who you're talking to before mouthing off, punk. Arr. Okay, okay, let's keep things civil got a favor to ask. What? You're asking me for a favor? Now this is an occasion. But hey, what have I got to lose? Okay, go ahead, shoot. Yeah, well the fact is, this kid, I mean Jack, he's building a dream team squad and needs the best fighters around. He's not having much luck so far. So we figured maybe you want to join in on the fun. Haha, <laughs> don't tell me you lost to this kid. Huh? Yeah, yeah, well, I promised that if you beat me, I'd help him out. Ha, <laughs> idiot, I guess you haven't changed. I suppose you let him beat you, right? Huh? Really? It doesn't matter now. So, what do you say? Are you going to help me or out? Come on, any like the old times, you and me together. I guess I am kind of curious to see how good the kid can fight. But I'm in no bleeding heart like Gerald. I fight for keeps. And this is how you get your boy not turn. And this another one of those by yourself fights too. This guy, oh, whoa! Look at that whoa. shit on that boy. I think they can break your uh, guard too. So let's do this thing nice and quick. I don't want to die. 1976. Slow it down, man. Slow it down. Holy moly, donut shop. Jesus. Okay, now. For him, I have to do something that's going to keep me from dying. I'm going to use this right here, recovery pills, so I could stay alive a little bit. And I need some better. Swarm. This guy is fast. Yeah, I mean, like, really fast, so I think I have something that's worth using. I need some fast damage. Just so I can get out of this. It's like a long fight, too, guys. So. He is, like, extremely fast. Alright! I mean, it's unnecessary. No way! Shit! This guy is like really fast. I mean, it's man. I really, I mean, really need to get more nats. Like, I really need to get. Oh man, it's not gonna work at all. Oh, 
eso va mucho. Best look is stick and move. This one took a long time, so I just want to show you guys how you get them. And I am going to see you guys when I finish beating them. Alright, guys, I am back and I have excellent news. I have defeated Doctor. All right. Yes, I really did. It took like 20 minutes, but I did it. <sighs> Not bad. I can see why Gerald likes it, kid. It's settled. We're partners now. We just lead the way. So good! Not turn my friends list. Okay, now this time I'm really gonna go to the, you know, the Theater of Encore and, you know, do whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna go there for real this time. And I'll see you guys when I get there. I just wanna show you how to get Gerald and, you know, uh, Nocturne and your team. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, so I'll see you guys when I get there. I'm not lying this time. I mean, seriously. All right, see ya. All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, I got to the head of Angkor. So now, the gun of this dilemma. Once I read your minds, and mind, da da uh, The shop here is from that dwarf, Ganovich. He's the elder of the dwarf village in Earth Valley. He says there are creatures living in the mines and he needs them removed. Creatures in the mines? Like moles or something? Why can't the dwarves take care of a few moles on their own? Who knows? Just go to Earth Valley and they'll fill you in, okay? Alright guys, this is it. This is the last mission I can do before everything goes amok. And before the party. But I want to see if I can like get some more equipment or something because I don't want to keep wearing this junk man like seriously I don't want to wear it I don't like that outfit you know and yeah I know I'm trying to sound like uh the uh Lumbee princess because you know that's the Lumbee fresh ass you know anyway let's make our way to earth valley and get ready to get rid of these monsters. And this time I shouldn't have that much of a problem since I'm using Clive and I have two Uber um friends. So go this way. Immediately to Earth. Yeah. But yeah, I had to get Gerald and what's his name because it'll make my game so much easier. Meeting those two powerhouses. And especially since we're at level 40. On it. So I gotta go to Ganovich, which is right here. You came all the way here. Does this mean you always have the job? Uh, um, can you tell me a little bit more about it first? Oh, it's very simple. I want you to get rid of the monsters living in the mines. Monsters, huh? What would that look? You think we dwarves should do it ourselves, yes? I, I didn't say that. You would like to solve this without the help from others. However, the monsters are very elusive. We are having a hard time with them. Our ore is being devoured as we speak. Our precious ore. They eat ore? Exactly, we dwarves cannot survive without our ore. So what do you think? Can you do it? What's with that look? You know, trust me. I don't know how strong you are. When I was a knight, I had a mission to help you, remember? You didn't do a very good job, but I guess we have no choice. Whatever, anyway, do what the monsters, I mean, what do the monsters look like? Well, at least you're asking the right questions. They're like gigantic alligators. They eat ore with their massive jaws. Really? We call them rock diggers. Well, whatever they are, you can count on me. Just remember to report back to me after you defeated them. I know. Hmm, I hope you can handle this. Don't worry, man, I can. I can handle it just fine. 
So now we're going to go to the mines. And also, um, there's actually a nice little shortcut around here. And this is not the right way. I don't think it's the right way. It might be, I don't know. Caution cave in. Yeah, I think this is it. I hope it is. I don't know. <laughs> but as a matter of fact, I don't think that's the right one because I think there's a dwarf right in front of the entrance where I have to be at. I think he tells me to like hurry up, hurry up, go in, go in. Try to rush me in. Why can't I go up these stairs? I have to walk man, she has to let me walk up the stairs. Sorry for the technical term right there, but I can't walk. Yeah, this should be it right here. Because I know it will be blocked off the first time you, uh, try to get through. Hmm. Careful, it's dangerous in there. You mean the monsters, right? Ah, you must be for the warrior again. Yes, yes, the beasts are within. Can you get rid of them for us? What exactly are they, anyway? Oh. I don't know if it's what or where. I'm finding new monsters! Well, robots. And I have the Uber team. Ha! It's gonna be so easy. Right. It's gonna be so easy. So I have Gerald and Nocturne. What's wrong? Nocturne is going to steal the crap right. out of them. And Gerald is strong as hell. Right. And has two swords. And has a multi blast. And you can see Nocturne and Gerald are both on level 44. While me and Clive are the weakest. So now I don't feel that bad anymore. I actually, I actually feel inferior. And this, you know, is one of the slower. Thanks a lot. And I'm finding more monsters. And also, uh, when I get to fight the rock diggers, I will show you guys ha! the new um, thing. And it, that thing is a new. Oh, that was something. It will be the new, um... It will be the new, um... Uh, What's his name? Or is it anything in this point that can't be killed? We had a new, uh, Vulti Blast for Gerald. Since I didn't do it, or you guys didn't see it in the, uh, battle against Gerald. Or in a, you know, that brief, whoa, brief moment. Alright, in a fight with Gerald. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, yep, and then we had to fight these dung monkeys. I want to call them dung monkeys because they have an attack. What's wrong? That's a good like them. Dog catch you. I also have the elephant What's wrong? Jack. Just so I can Or, um, like their stuff. So I'm into eye drops. It's cool. I'm gonna have to finish it off. Since they're uber strong. Just spot my turn. Let me use it for my thought. Oh yeah, and let's give the heads up how I beat Nocturne. Oh there it is. Let's see, how I beat Nocturne was as simple as I used a uh, poison. I mean, uh, it's not called a poison, it's called a uh, Toadstool, yes, it's called Toadstool. A Toadstool uh, powder, and I threw it at him, and he got poisoned. And, you know, I stayed alive. And I also used something else, but I can't remember. Sage. And I'm going down more stairs, probably, or elevators, or whatever they're called. I don't know. This should be it right here. Since it's a lot of loading screen. Yep, here we go. And I really needs another outfit. Whoa. That's a big hole. Huh? Huh? What? what? Oh crap. Are 
right, guys, now it is time. But first, I'm going to do a little analysis on to see how much their health is. And 1,151. And now it's time to use Gerald's Voltu. Move it now! Do wave blade! So, what do I want to do with this? Stop what not. Take them on and kill him. He has Iron Link, which means it's gonna be harder for us to uh, lose our what you call it, for a Link to break. So, work. come on, do it again. <coughs> oh, sorry. So, yep, this is the thing about the Guard Link. Uh, the one was near blocking with the Guard Link. Um, pretty much, you gain Volta Blad, you gain Volta Gauge. I guess it's increased by each enemy, I mean each part that you have in, uh, in the link. I have to do another one in a sec. Just for the sake of you know, no way. doing an attack. Attack link! Alright, let's see. I don't think not turn on let me see. Move it now! That's no good! No, you don't have one. Move it now! We'll do. Here I go. Oh. Didn't need it. Wow. That's a fin me. You know how you stand? It's like, I'm the boss. That was easy as heck. If I use anybody else, it was like a half an hour for that fight. Now I know why the dwarf asked someone else to do this job. It was a lot tougher than I thought. Anyway, the job is done. I'm ready to report back. Alright, so I'm done with that. And see you guys when I leave this place and go back to uh, Vancouver. Or Ganevich's place. So, yep, see you there. Okay, guys. And I am back. And I am in front of Ganevich's. I'm out inside. Inside. Ganevich's um, place. After the big battle with Dunk. So now I'm gonna go back here and see what's gonna happen next. I got rid of rock diggers. Really? Well, I apologize for doubting you. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'll be leaving now. You should stay and relax a while. Who's that restless young lad? Oh well. And it was as easy as that. That was a nice and fast. Um, you know, a few minutes to get me some mission completing. So I think as of now, I don't have any more missions. I don't think. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to go back home and I hope I'm in theater for, you know, get paid and, you know, make more monies and hopefully get some more about an outfit. I'll do that off camera so I won't, you know, just make all this extra space. Because <clears throat> I recorded two episodes today. This one and the last one. Last episode. So, yeah, that's, you know, save you guys some, um, you know, eyesight. So let's see here. Oh, Jarvis. Hey, hey, hey. it's time to pay you up. You can let the fire up. Listen, can you just give me a little more time, okay? This is one of those things that is gonna choose for you to do either have either Gisk or what's his name? Or Jarvis, so I do it okay. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Oh, you mean assignments and Hecon Squad is having a hard time too. Hey ho, I wasn't Easy peasy, just like always. Don't get too full of yourself anyway. Here's your money. I'm like getting richer. I reward for completing your first major mission. 
a fine whoop sword. What? No way! Yep, no way. Just kidding. I knew it. Whoop sword are worth a fortune. Darn right. Who the heck would give away a dwarf sword? Me. Boo hoo, nothing for you. And everyone says it right there, guys. I have no more missions. Um, in the next episode of the Radio Stories, we're going to go forward in the story, probably. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode, meaning the next one after this one, if you guys are not dead, you know. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play Radio Stories. Peace out, my homies.